What are the pyramids of Giza? And who were these pyramids built for? In this video we are going to crack them down in a nutshell for you. Show us your support by subscribing to our channel, give it a like, and click the bell button for more nutshell videos. Last time, we talked about the Pyramid of Khufu, the Great Pyramid, and the Pyramid of Kafir. If you haven't checked, the links are provided at the end of this video. For now, let's crack the Pyramid of Menker into a nutshell. The pyramids of Giza, including all pyramids in Egypt, are perfectly located on the west bank of the Nile River. Because that is where the sun sets every evening, symbolizing the realm of the dead. The pyramids of Giza were once covered and polished in a white casing made of glimmering limestone that can reflect the sun's rays. Unfortunately over time the casings have slowly disappeared because some are cut and taken to build other structures and some loosened by earthquakes and crumbling to rubble. Pyramid of Menker Menker, 2532-2503 BC. Menker is the fifth king of the fourth dynasty and he is Pharaoh Kafir's son. The Pyramid of Menker is said to have preserved some of the most stunning examples of sculptures that survive from all of Egyptian history. It is the shortest of the three pyramids with 216 feet high and is a precursor of the smaller pyramids that would be constructed during the 5th and 6th dynasties. It is also discovered inside that Menker has a black stone sarcophagus, also carved with niched panels. It was said that the sarcophagus got lost at sea as it was being transported to England. Now lies at the bottom of the Mediterranean Sea. Pyramid of Menker's original height is 65.5 meters or 215 feet. But the structure was completed measuring 61 meter or 200 feet high. Base of 108.5 meter or 356 feet. The exterior has granite facing, but it was never completed. Here is the entrance going to the descending passage. You will pass through the antechamber and to the original burial chamber. Then below, you'll get to the new lower burial chamber that is lined with granite. From the original planned size of pyramid there is also an original descending passage. In AD 1196, Al-Aziz Uthman, Saladin's son, attempted to demolish the pyramids where they started with the Pyramid of Menker. Though the stones aren't easy to remove, so they used wedges and levers to move the stones. But it is not enough and that is why they could only remove one or two stones each day. Despite all the efforts, they were only able to make a vertical gash on the northern face of the pyramid. Can you imagine how heavy those stones are? So, that is the Pyramid of Menker. Let us know your insights about this topic. Share us your thoughts in the comments section below. We also have videos discussing the Pyramid of Khufu and the Pyramid of Kafir. You can check them by clicking these videos. Thanks for watching.